there is a coal mine the coal that is extracted is fed into this hopper hopper is a kind of large funnel right so coal is fed into this hopper and this hopper discharges the coal hello students today we will do a question from mechanics which i will not term as a difficult question uh, it is a kind of routine question i think which all of you must do uh, the mathematical calculation is a bit lengthy but the physical concept is not very difficult to understand let us have a look at the question in a coal mine the produced coal is fed to a hopper which discharges it into a railway wagon at a constant rate of bkg per second uh, there is a coal mine the coal that is extracted is fed into this hopper hopper is a kind of large funnel right so coal is fed into this hopper and this hopper discharges the coal into an empty railway wagon right this is a railway wagon and here the hole is opened and the coal falls into the wagon and the hopper loads the wagon at a constant rate of bkg per second that the coal coming out of the hopper is coming out at a constant rate of bkg per second b is just a number right an empty wagon having mass m not approaches the hopper while traveling at speed v not on a smooth track length of the car is l now you have to understand this uh, there is an empty wagon there is no engine attached to it there is an empty car empty wagon having length l it approaches the hopper traveling at a speed v not the track is smooth this car is traveling at a speed v not no engine is attached to it if it is left to itself it will keep traveling with velocity v not forever okay but as soon as the front end of the car uh, comes closer to the hopper the hopper gate is opened and coal starts falling into the wagon i guess all of you can understand as the coal pours into the wagon its speed will decrease isn't it but the wagon keeps on moving with decreasing speed and is finally able to come out of the hopper region right so uh, as soon as the right end of the car is below the hopper it begins to discharge find the mass and speed of the wagon just after it moves out of the hopper region i am getting out of the screen so that you can capture the question and here is the diagram if you want you can capture this and try to solve it on your own basically the question is asking that this hopper will release coal into the wagon at a constant rate of bkg per second an empty wagon enters here without any engine it is traveling at a speed v not as soon as the front end reaches the hopper coal begins to fall into the wagon the speed goes on decreasing 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 and by the time the entire wagon crosses the hopper its speed has decreased to some other value v we have to find that v and also we have to find the final mass of the wagon plus coal system so this is the question that we are going to solve it is not a very difficult question as i have already said uh let us assume that this wagon travels through a distance x in time t let us assume that this wagon travels a distance x in time t uh after time t its mass will be mass of the wagon will be m not plus bt because when this wagon has traveled through a distance x now the hopper is here uh, this has traveled through distance x so coal has been loaded here and mass of the wagon has increased to m not plus bt m not is the mass of empty car bt is the amount of coal that has been poured into it in time t so we can conserve momentum for what what is our system our system is the empty wagon plus the coal that has been poured into it my system is empty wagon plus coal that has been poured into it so when the coal blocks are falling they are having some vertical velocity but they are having no horizontal movement at all so for my system my system is the empty wagon plus the coal that is dropping into it so for my system there is no horizontal force acting on it no external horizontal force is there on my system so in horizontal direction momentum of my system remains conserved initially momentum is simply m not into v not m not is the mass of the empty car into velocity v not that is my initial momentum 
after time t when this wagon has traveled through a distance x time t has passed there is bt kg of coal inside the wagon and the total mass of my system is m0 plus bt m0 plus bt this is what i am writing as m so m0 plus bt kg is the mass of my system and let us say at this time velocity is v so momentum is m into v where m is m0 plus bt right and it should be equal to initial momentum m0 v0 so from here i can write v as i can write v as m0 v0 by m m0 v0 by m m is m0 plus bt i hope all of you understand this so let let me mark this as equation number 1 this is my equation number 1 uh this is my equation number 1 students next v can be written as dx by dt x is the distance traveled in time t so v can be written as dx by dt i hope all of you agree to this so i have written v as dx by dt now I'll, i will separate the variables i'll bring dt on to this side and keep dx on one side and then we will integrate on both sides so here i have left dx brought dt on this side and i have done the integration uh, this is a simple integration logarithm uh, integration of this will be logarithm of m0 plus bt whole thing divided by b so i think you can do it on your own when time is zero x is zero what is x x is the distance traveled by wagon after its front end reaches near the hopper so at time t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and at final time t x is equal to l when x becomes l the whole wagon has crossed through the hopper so i am integrating from 0 to t t is the time in which the wagon will cross through the hopper and x changes from 0 to l where l is the total length of the wagon i think all of you can do this these mathematical steps if you do it if you do it you will find that l is equal to m0 v0 by b log of m0 plus bt by m0 in fact if you rearrange this equation we get the value of time t this equation basically tells us in how much time the wagon will be able to cross the uh, hopper region so uh, that is what has been done in next few steps logarithm of this is l b by m0 v0 and e raised to the power this exponential e raised to the power this is 1 plus bt by m0 and in one more step i have taken lcm on this side so m0 is in the denominator m0 plus bt in numerator so bring m0 on this side and you get m0 plus bt is equal to m0 raised to the power bl by e m0 v0 please do the mathematics yourself this is the mass of the wagon at time t i hope you remember this m0 is the mass of empty wagon bt is the amount of coal that has poured into it in time t so this is the mass of the wagon at time t and what time i am talking about right now this is the time by which the entire wagon has crossed through the hopper region so actually this is the final mass of the wagon this was one of the questions find the final mass of the wagon so final mass of the wagon will be equal to this much isn't it so uh now you can calculate final speed of the wagon uh, this equation actually has been derived from first equation equation 1 gives you v as a function of t look at the denominator what is this denominator this denominator is actually total mass of the wagon isn't it so total mass of the wagon we have already calculated by the time it has crossed the hopper region this is the total mass of the wagon so here in this equation in place of this total mass i can write this and therefore i get the value of v so here i get the final speed of the wagon as it moves out of the uh, hopper region the students i hope many of you can try this question using uh, the formula of thrust force uh, for a variable mass system in a variable mass system the thrust force is u relative dm by dt if you have heard about this formula if you have learned this formula uh, you can use this also uh, and try this question i have not used this because i assume that this is out of our syllabus variable mass system is not there in our syllabus actually but uh, this is a question uh, which can be termed as a variable mass question 
but variable mass all variable mass questions can be solved using momentum conservation is not it and this formula also is derived from conservation of momentum only. So, I did not use this formula as such and I did it from the fundamentals. I hope all of you have understood this. If not, please repeat the video and again one request for all of you, please share the videos and help me increase my subscriber base. Thank you. Goodbye.